today guys we're in southwest island and we're going to do the ringa kerry in one day it's quite a popular like famous drive to do here in ireland really like scenic route so the first stop we're just outside killarney ross castle we're going to start our little tour from here today my brother is actually with me he's just taking a few pictures of the castle so check it out guys ross castle 15th century castle out here by the lake so this if you're doing the ring of Kerry from Killarney this is probably going to be the best place to start and if you want to follow our route join us so guys just outside the Beckeros Castle you've got the lake here and normally you can take boat tours from here from this area here and you go out to Inishvallen Island so if that's something you're interested in and you can also get some canoes I think can go canoeing so you can go inside the castle as well too but during these times obviously it's not open so let's get back to the car onto the next stop and in the meantime you can watch some drone footage <laughs> Right guys, I'm back to the car now, my brother's here. So I'm gonna show you the route we're gonna be taking. Where's our next stop? Kloglan. So we're going to Kloglan next. Look, I don't know if you can see all the little green markers. That's where we're gonna be stopping off on the ring of Kerry. So let's go, next stop, Kloglan. So guys, the ring of Kerry, for those who wanna know, it's 110 miles or 180 kilometers. Goes in a massive circle. The reason we go this way, we head out towards Kloglan first, it's because generally the buses go this way and the road's very narrow in parts. So if you go the other way, you'll be like me and the bus head on like this and you might not be able to get through because some parts of the road's very narrow. So it's better to like follow the buses. If you wanna follow this route, you can follow the video. At the start of Kloglan town, you'll see this goat up on a stand because Kaloglan's known, it's a famous town for one of Ireland's oldest festivals, Puck Fair, which happens there every year around the 10th to 12th of August. So we're gonna go over the bridge now and we're gonna take a walk through Kaloglan town and you can see what it's like. Kaloglan's probably a place you're not gonna stop only for Puck Fair because the street I'm on now, this hill during Puck Fair will just be full of people there'll be different stuff going on everyone will be drinking but you'll see now like there's not much in Kaloglan to be fair like every like small Irish town just a lot of bars places to eat and that's pretty much Kaloglan town guys not a very big town at all it's just on a hill so that's it that's where Puck Fair is going on so you wouldn't really stop off at Kloglan, just a quick drive through. So let's go on to the next place. Guys, when you come to do the ring of Kerry, bring a raincoat, because we actually come to do the ring today because it was meant to be dry and it's just started to rain a little bit. So pro tip, bring a raincoat when you come to Ireland, because you're gonna get all seasons in one day. Okay guys, we've made it to Ross Bay Beach. Um, as you can see, like we're pretty much the only car here because we're in these uh, times now. So not too many people around, no tourists in Ireland. So the place is pretty empty. So good time to do the Ring of Kerry. You got some houses over there in the mountain. And yeah, this is Ross Bay Beach, kind of a rocky, it's like no sand just rocks but in Ireland as well guys you can surf there are a lot of like we're going all along the coast now and we get some good waves because of the wind and bad weather I suppose quick stop off at Ross Bay 
and then on to the next place I'm not sure where we're heading next but this video I'll be jumping around a lot guys from place to place so we've just come off the road a bit guys to Kells Bay it looks like we've got some little like eco lodges in there and this is Kells Bay area got some caravans over there I suppose people come to stay See in Ireland guys we don't really get the weather to be chilling on the beach all that much Right guys so the next stop on the Ring of Kerry is Car Savine, just a small little town uh, Not too much going on here really it's just like a small stretch of road As you'll see from the small clips I put up now Really they've got this church behind me and actually there's a few cool things just outside Carsevin. There's a like old ruined castle and some fort that we're gonna head out to now. So here we are guys in the stone fort. This was built actually in 600 AD. I just found out that info. So I've actually, I've done the Ring of Kerry a few times, but I've never actually stopped here. So it's kind of cool to see. Look, we've got the sea over there and the mountains. Look at this, pretty cool. You can climb all the way up these little steps. Definitely worth coming to visit guys because Carsevin town you'd normally just drive straight through but just a couple of kilometers you've got all these like gems outside. guys this video is jumping around a lot because we're going from place to place just getting pictures and showing you guys so just down from the fort we've got this like nice little lake going down there it's it's turned out to be a nice day today as well and just behind it we've got the castle i was telling you about in the town uh basically an old ruins this is it right there We've made it to Valencia Island. Uh, we've come to the end, Knightstown it's called. They've got this little clock. We've got the boats here. I'll show you a bit of Knightstown. It's only very small, like they have a few little hotels, coffee shops. So we're gonna grab a coffee here. Then we'll be going on to the next town to get um, some food. We're just gonna sit outside this little coffee shop and enjoy a coffee before we go into the next town. You can pretty much drive around everywhere in very little time. So now we're just going down towards the lighthouse. Check out that. I'm just walking up to the lighthouse now. I was a bit surprised actually. Um, I had to pay for entrance into here. I thought because during these times maybe stuff like this would still be closed but it's open so here we go 750 for entrance to the lighthouse per person so this is the lighthouse guys she said I can go inside so no one's in here at the minute I, let, I forgot I left my mask in the car I keep forgetting because outside in Ireland no one's really wearing them Check it out. This is like the plant room of the lighthouse. We'll go through here. Oi! Check it out. Oh, it's windy up here. Nice guys, nice. <laughs> Absolutely 
absolutely beautiful down here. It's actually the first time I've been down here myself. If you get a nice day like today, just look at that for a view. So now we're gonna go and check out the Tetra Pod tracks and I'll explain to you more when we're down there. We've just made it now to the Tetrapod trackway. Some lovely cows behind in the field. Some nice Irish beef right there. So you walk down this trackway. So guys, what these uh, Tetrapod trackways are, they're like uh, footprints in the rocks and apparently they date back to like 350 million years ago. And they say it was a transition of the animals from water to land. So we're gonna go and check it out. It should be some just like real old footprints in the rocks, so let's go. Kind of interesting as well because I was reading online that there's only four places in the whole world that have these and one of them's here in Valencia Island. But just down there in the rock you'll see the track, track there and it's like little footprints. So it's something like when you come down I suppose it's not like wow oh my god but do you know 350 million years old they say and only four spots in the world that have them and one of them's here so definitely probably worth just coming to check out and you have this view anyway so right we've checked it out now we're going to go on to my favorite little spot on the ring of kerry port mcgee and eat some fresh seafood so let's go we've made it to port mcgee this is my favorite stop on the Ringa Kerry guys. It's just like a really small fishing town or village, whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, this is where we're going to stop, eat some seafood. So I'd recommend stopping here to eat your lunch if you do the Ringa Kerry. There's loads of nice little cafes and they've got a famous restaurant called uh, Moorins. I've ate there before, really like legit seafood. So we'll go down there and you'll see what the food looks like. It's probably the most popular place to eat, I would say, in Port McGee. There's only a few little bars, a few houses. So I'm just taking you down now where the fishermen come. They've got all the rope and nets there to catch the fish. And look, just a few uh, fishing boats, a good few actually. This side. <laughs> Obviously we have to eat outside, it's a nice day and we cannot eat indoors still. So it costs 16 euro for cod and chips for one, quite pricey. It comes in a little container like this, get the plastic knife and fork. There we go, got some mushy peas, tartar sauce, big piece of cod and the chips underneath and the lemon. So we're gonna eat this and continue on the rest of the ring. It's fresh, tastes very fresh. The next stop off, it's just a few kilometers outside uh, Port McGee, Kerry Cliffs. You have to park and pay an entrance of four euro. And then we have to walk up this walkway for about 10 minutes. And we're gonna see some epic, epic shots of the cliffs. We made it up to the top of Kerry Cliffs right here. Just look at this, man. This is unreal. First time I've been up here. Look at that. All the way over there, there's two islands, Skellig Michael, where they did the Star Wars film. You can take boat tours out there if you want, but we're gonna go ahead and fly the drone, check it out. it guys Kerry Cliffs on real first time ever being here really nice nearly lost my hat to the cliffs quite windy up here but yeah 
nice little stop off it's nice to check out all the little irish towns but this is just like unreal guys isn't it unreal got some nice photos and video so on to the next place So guys, as you've seen, we've just drove into Waterville. Check it out. Another nice little seaside place, but it's uh, like Pebble Beach, Rock Beach. There's no sand along here. So we're just gonna stroll along here. It's the same as most of the other towns we went through, just like some bars, restaurants. It's a stop off on the Ring of Kerry. And this town's famous for something, and I will show you shortly. There's such a strong smell here as well at the sea, to be fair today got out and could smell it straight away this is what the town's famous for any of you know who this guy is Charlie Chaplin uh, so Charlie Chaplin and the family used to come to Waterville as their holiday spot so interesting fact about Waterville I suppose Charlie Chaplin used to like it now on to the next spot we're getting there guys So guys, this is O'Carroll's Cove, uh, one of the last beaches before we hit Killarney. Really nice beach actually, I should get out here more, just check it out. White Sand Beach, not so many people on it today and there's some caravans over there you can either rent or I think drive down in your camper van and stay here for the night, so really nice spot. They also have a bar restaurant. Just at the bottom of the just at the bottom of the beach down there as well, so beautiful spot. We haven't even been five minutes after leaving the beach and the weather's changing for the worse already. So we've made it to the little village of Sneem, just loads of little like uh, bakeries, bars, coffee shops here. Colourful little village. You can see, very small. The start of it's just from there. You just come through. Very little, small, colourful place, but it's a good place to stop on the Ringy Kerry on the way back for a beer or a coffee or something like that. So guys, we just like approaching that Moles Gap. Uh, this road kind of leads back into Killarney and to be honest there's loads of stop offs on the way so I'm going to roll the drone footage now and you'll see all the different lakes you can stop off at. <laughs> guys one of the last stops on the Ringer Kerry ladies view it's called ladies view because uh, Queen Victoria's ladies in waiting visited here so that's it <laughs> So guys, this is the last stop of the Ringa Kerry tour, Talk Waterfall. We're pretty much back in Killarney, so this took, this route I've just took you on took me from 8.30 in the morning till 5.30. So we've done a massive loop, got back to Killarney. And to be honest guys, like I made this video, so I had to stop for longer than probably you guys would to get the drone footage and all that. And we stopped off in a place to eat and a place for a coffee, which you saw, so yeah like the ring of kerry definitely drive it if you come 
if you have more time than one day you can take a couple of days to do it but yeah i personally think driving it yourself is better than actually going on a bus tour so you can stop in all the places i've stopped in one day so you can follow the route i did also just uh, mark it on the map and follow the circle around and as you see from the video you can stop in all those cool places so until the next one goodbye